Howdy, smoosh cats. You know Vancouver is famous for mountains and ocean, but what city lies just south of Vancouver but is completely flat and surrounded by a river and has a 74% Asian population, which makes it the most Asian city in North America? Hi, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the Real Justine Priestley channel. I am the Real Justine Priestley, your local realtor with a twist. And today we're going to talk about a fabulous place called Richmond. Richmond is home to North America's largest night market that sees a million visitors every summer from May to October. It's only six bucks to get in for an adult and you will find an array of food and musicians, dancers, Fun for the kids, a rainbow maze, giant dinosaurs. One particular road in Richmond, they allowed zoning for places of worship where many, many people, hundreds, maybe thousands of people can come. There are so many different churches and temples. Guess what they call it? Highway to Heaven. That is a great example <laughs> of the sense of humor that we have here in Vancouver. If you're moving to Vancouver or you just want to learn about Vancouver, that's what I'm here for. One of my favorite things to do is to go to Larry Berg Park, which is very close to a couple of runways. Picture this, airport fans. The first runway lights at YVR were turned on in 1938. Before then, car owners would respond to radio appeals from the airport and light the runways with their headlights to help aircraft land in the dark. What? This and zillions of other fun facts can be found on these cool tail fins in the park. So if you hang out in Larryburg Park, the planes, sometimes huge ones, just fly right over your head. If you learned something new about Richmond, BC today, that's a great chance for you to smoosh the like. Just give it a smoosh, smoosh cats. Smoosh, a combination of smooch and squish, usually a term of affection. Richmond weather is like much of the Lower Mainland, a lot of gray and a lot of cool and a lot of wet. Summers are short and not usually super hot, although summer of 2021 was a real scorcher. There are very few of the old farmhouses that were in Richmond 100 years ago left, but happily there are a few of them that still remain, like this one. Richmond Country Farms. My bet is there's been a farm here for a very, very long time, but no one seems to know exactly how long or how old the original building is. We know for sure that this farm has been owned and operated by the same family since 1978. They grow and produce much of what they sell at the store and in the nursery, and they are quick to point out that it is a working farm, not a petting zoo. Okay, everybody? And not very many of the homes that were built in the 60s and 70s are still standing. Most of Richmond is quite new. I would say 20 or 25 years old or less. Y'all know that my jam bony is older homes, and I like mature neighborhoods that are well-maintained and leafy. But I really like to talk about Richmond's urban planning. Richmond has numbered streets, number one road, number two road, etc., leading up to six. And each of them are a mile apart. They run north and south. At the half mile points between the numbered roads, there are named streets, and these are all busy thoroughfares. Running east to west, you also have main through roads, all with names, and they're all half a mile apart. But here's the cool part. You can't cut through between all those grid streets. The neighborhoods are quiet and residential with no through roads and lots of safety for the kids to play in the neighborhood. Yahoo! Like much of Greater Vancouver, Richmond is seeing its share of brand new high density going in everywhere. I really wanted to show you all this shot. I'm driving over a bridge from Lulu Island onto Sea Island, heading north and looking east. So you can see Richmond to the right, 
and we're looking up the river. In the distance, you can see Burnaby's downtown high rises. You'll also find one of the few casinos that we have in Greater Vancouver right here in Richmond. It's called the River Rock Casino. If you've got kids, good news about Richmond. There are 79 public schools in Richmond and many of them rank fairly high, above seven out of 10 on the Fraser Institute website. If you need information about schools in Greater Vancouver, actually all of BC, then that's where you go. You know I love making these videos for y'all, but the neighbor ones are the most complicated and right now I just feel like I need a dance break. Richmond enjoys plenty of green spaces, parks, and nature parks with lots of wildlife. You will find bats, beavers, coyotes, squirrels, geese, skunks, and wild rabbits. Lots and lots of wild rabbits. They are a common sight around Richmond and they're pretty comfortable around people. They're so cute little bunnies. I just want to introduce y'all to Bigelow. This is Bigelow. He's my teddy bear. I've had him since I was four years old and I sleep with him every night. Say hi Bigelow. Hi. Hi. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my playlist, which has all my neighborhood videos. You can get to know Vancouver real quick.